Every year, shoppers can get a jump on their Christmas list and help support small businesses. Fittingly, on Small Business Saturday, the day after Black Friday, here at the Mac Craft Fair in Munson. Shoppers walk from building to building, getting a chance to explore the streets of Munson, all while checking out the artistic work of crafters with everything from homemade chocolates to handmade trinkets. I get all my Christmas shopping done by going to the uh, different different uh, shows. I don't want to uh, buy everything from the, uh, the mall. I want to try to support local small business. Back for another year like most Mac Festers, Wicked Good Treats had specialty chocolates ready to wrap as gifts or just a little pick-me-up for yourself. This, this is my wife's business, uh, Wicked Good Treats, and uh, um, this is uh, a, a good, a good, uh, a good venue to show her uh, her products. She makes uh, caramel covered apples, and um, uh, they're dipped in caramel and then in nuts and chocolate. Um, she started doing fudge this year, which she hadn't been doing before. The day provides a unique shopping experience, as Heidi explains. It's not something you're going to get at the big stores, and then you get to interact with the people who made it and get the stories behind it. And you see the same people year after year, too. So they'll come back and say, oh, I love this item. And, you know, this person loved it and did this to it and that to it. So it's more the experience than the product. Hats, bags, accessories. I try to make stuff that are, it's like useful to people, so. Something different and a little more feminine. Dried flower creations by Joanna Dalton. Um, I grow and press my own flowers and dry my own flowers and I look for antique vessels to use, to repurpose in a way, some nature. Almost everything from my table comes from my yard. She looks forward to this event every year, just like her display neighbor next door. We're allowed to come here Friday night and set up relaxing, one-of-a-kind crafts, and for the person who asks you, could you please put the receipt in case I have it, there's really no returns because it's unique. So it's that unique personalized gift that nobody can say they have. Her artistic inspiration comes from her parents and her love for antiques. Well, my dad was a fireman and a carpenter for his second job. My mom was a seamstress. So I basically inherited the qualities that they needed to perform and took a little bit of both of it. And it started out as a hobby and it just grew and took over the house. So this again is my outlet and I only do craft fairs and it keeps me busy. I try to get and inquire as many antiques as possible from coal shovels to hinges to antique picture frames and if I don't get it old I paint it and sand it to appear old for the primitive look. I also found something that caught my eye in the window of a local salon shop. I have a lovely lady here that um, does um, her magic on clothing for the Irish and other things. Sally Keeley turned her passion for her Irish heritage into a business. Towels, I do t t uh, family uh, uh, cotton blanket throws, so I do that all the time. They're very popular for fr showers. I do the uh, his and her towels in large letters. Um, it's a mix of everything. The baby clothing is extremely popular because it has an Irish insignia on it. I do some of these, which are very nice to have. I'm an Irish dancing. And a shout out to one of her granddaughters, a champion Irish step dancer. Well, I have five granddaughters and they're all step dancers. So going every Sunday to Feshes, I decided to do this and stick more to the Irish culture. Our cousin one came in 16th in the state. What a great day to support the arts and make the holiday gift giving season a little more special. I'm Darcy Fortune, MPAC TV.